Bonjour mes amis, this is Servi Homestead. I'm Dustin. It is cold. We're gonna look at the frame on our Gravely mower. You can't really see cold in a video, but I can show you some frozen water. Yeah, it's not super thick, but it's pretty good for us here in South Louisiana. Taste cold. It's 7:30 in the morning, and it's about 30 degrees. Two nights ago, North Louisiana had an inch or more of snow. And that's pretty amazing for us Louisianians. It's all due to climate change. Let's go find the Gravely. All right, here she is in all her glory, ZT50. So it cuts 50 inches wide, about. It's, it's still a, a medium to small frame mower, but it has the wider deck and the slightly bigger engine. I think it is a, is it a 23 horse Kohler? 24. 24 horsepower Kohler. It's been a really good engine. So, two problems on this thing. Poor design for the throttle choke system. You can watch our video on how we rigged that up to fix it. It's made out of plastic and it just didn't it didn't last. But the main thing I want to talk about today is the frame. So it's just not beefy enough in the front. I don't understand why they did it this way. It's simply a butt joint from these frames in the floorboard that go to the back to this cross member in the front that's it this just butts up to this and it's welded so it broke a couple of years ago and i just i took off this front piece which was not that easy i mean i i guess that part wasn't bad but i was really trying to get everything off so that i could easily get here and clean up the broken area and welded back together but I couldn't so all I could do was grind whatever I could reach from there and weld it back together on both sides and it was big ugly nasty welds and then it, it cracked again like a year and a half later so this time I followed my dad's advice and I put a little gusset right here and that seems to be working better I'm sure it'll last a lot longer because it's so much more surface area being welded. And I just put some primer on it because we don't really worry about how this thing looks too much. And so it's just a lot of stress in this one spot. These wheels are turning in, in many different directions. You know, a zero turn can just basically spin with a zero degree radius. And so these wheels are going forward, backward, sideways, and putting a lot of strain on these connections. But here's the other thing that, that really makes no sense to me. The deck is held up by this same front cross member. Now why? Why would you have all the strain from the front wheels and the weight of the deck in one spot plus add that backwards pull of the deck look that's the deck bracket right there on this same beam I don't know why they put all that strain on these two little simple connections so if you have a mower like this you may want to take off this little front decorative plate it says gravely right here and check this before they come off all the way because it would be much easier to fix it before it breaks off completely you can catch it while it's still on. You can find a way to, to clamp it back. I think I used ratchet straps last time and just kind of ratcheted this so that it would stay back against this member and uh, was able to weld it back on. But you might want to check that out now while it's cold in the northern hemisphere and the grass doesn't really need to be cut. It's one of those things you can check on and take care of in the off season for your mower 
All right, thanks for watching this quick survey homestead video. Take care. We'll see y'all on the next one. Stay warm.